Hi everybody, today I will show you how to customize single product page in WooCommerce. So let's begin. Alright, so the theme that I'm using here is actually the Spectra 1 theme. So let me just show you. So as you can see here, we are using the Spectra 1 theme. So the plugin that we need to install to customize the single product page, okay, is actually the product X. So let's just click on the add new. And here, you just have to write down product X. And as you can see here, we have this product X plugin by WPXPO. So I have already installed this. So you have to install this first. After that, you have to go inside the dashboard of the product X. Let's just click on the WooCommerce Builder. And from here, I just have to select the single page. Alright, so let's just delete this. As you can see, the single product templates here. But all of these templates are actually the part of the pro version. So we have to start from this page. Alright, so here, let's just click on the add block. And from here, let's just write down the column. So we'll actually go with the two column structure. So now I have to add the product image here first. So let's click on the add and search for the product image. So let's drag the product image and put this here. And as you can see, we have this product image and along with that, we also have the gallery. Okay, so let's just close this. And I just click here. And as you can see here, from here, we can select our own products if I want to. So let's click on the sample t-shirt. And you will be able to see our product here and its gallery images. We also have the image view. We have the image height. So if you want to change the height of the image, you can also do it from here. All right. But I will simply go with the default value. And we have the option to scale the image. So you can simply select the value for scaling. And after that, we have the image border. We have the radius. We have the image arrow. We have the gallery arrow style. We have the gallery sales and etc. Okay, so if you don't want to show the sale banner, you simply disable this. But if you want to show this, you simply enable this. Okay, so you can also explore the other options here. And now I would simply like to add the product title. So let's write down product title here. So let's drag this and put this in the second column. Okay, so as you can see, this is the title of our product. So I have to decrease the size here so it would be H3. Okay, so this is looking fine. And you can change the alignment of the title here to the center, to the right side as well. But I would like to have this on the center. And from here, you can simply select your own product. So let's click on the sample t-shirt. And now you can see this, we have the sample t-shirt. And I would like to align this to the left. And if you want to change the color of the text, you can simply do it from here. And you can also change the typography of our title as well from here. Okay, so you can explore these options by yourself. And now let's just add a short description along with the title. So let's click on the add. Write down in short. And you can see this we have product short description. So let's just uh, put this under the title. And this is it. Okay, so now let's just add the price as well. So let's write down the price here. And as you can see here, we have this product price. So let's drag this and put this here. Now you can see this we have this product price. So I would just simply like to customize the product size here. So I just change the size here. I think I would simply go with the 20 PX. All right. And I would also like to increase the space here. So this is looking fine. And now what I need to do, I actually have to select the product. So that is actually the sample t-shirt. So now we would have the price of the sample t-shirt. So let's change the color of the regular price. So I would like to change this to the red. All right, so this is looking fine. And we can also enable the label if we want to. And you can also enable the discount badge as well. Okay, so this is how it works. Now I would like to have the add to cart option. So let's write down the add to cart. So you can see this, we have this product add to cart. So we have to drag this and put this under the price. Now this is looking fine. So from here, you can actually change the text of car text. So that is actually add to car right now. So if you want to change this to buy now or something else, you can simply change the text of the card here. But right now, I simply go the default value. We also have the plus minus option. So if you want to add this, you can simply add this from here. And we also have the button style. 
So in the button style, we actually have the background color, which is actually the solid color. And you can also use the gradient and you can also change the background color from here as well. So let's just try to use this color. I think this will look fine. All right. And you can also add the border. So we also have the border radius, box shadow and spacing and padding. So you can also play around with these values here as well. All right. So now let's try to add the stock value. Okay. So we have the product stock here. So I just simply like to drag this under the add to cart button. So this will simply show us the status of the product, whether it is in stock or out of the stock. So now let's just try to add the new column. Drag this here. And this would be the single column structure. Okay, so now let's just try to add the tab section here. So as you can see here, we have this product tab. So let's just drag this here. And now you can see here, we have the description. We have the additional information and we also have the reviews. All right, so this is how you can add the reviews, additional information and the description of the product. So now you can see this, we have the typography, we have the color, we have the hover color and the background color and the hover background. And we also have the border. And from here, you can go more specifically in the description tab and the additional tab and the review tab. For example, if you want to disable the additional information tab, you can simply disable this from here and it won't appear again. So this is how it works. So I simply like to disable this. Now let's just click on the description tab. And in the description tab, we have the heading color. We have the heading typography. We have the text color and the text typography. Okay. In the similar way, we have the reviews. So in the reviews, we have the review style as well. So you can change the color of the star if you want to. We also have this empty color and you can also explore the other options here. And in the last, I would actually like to have the related products. Okay. So first of all, we have to add the new column here. So let's just drag this and put this here. Now, as we know that we need the single column structure. So I simply click on the single column here. Okay. So now as you can see this, we have the single column. So now let's click on the add. And from here, as you can see here, we have the product grid. So let's click on the product grid one. And now you can see this, we have this product grid and in the product grid, we have the list of the products here. So from here, I can simply change the text of the heading. So now this would be related products. Okay. So this will work fine. So you can also change the layout of the product grid from here. And we can also change the product view. So we have the grid view option and we also have the slide view option. And from here, you can change the number of the column. And here we have the option of column grid gap. And we also have the raw gap here. And you can also see the other option here. And here we have the sorting of the elements. So first of all, we have the image. After that, we have the variation sorts. We have the category, title, description. And you can also see the other options here. So you can also sort the product from here as well if you want to. And we have the content wrap. And we have the stock status. So we have the price, review, sales. And you can also see the other options here. But right now, I just simply like to disable the category here. All right. And I would also like to disable the review. And since we don't have the variation swatches, so I simply disable this as well. And now this is looking fine. All right. So now we are done with the customization of our product page. So now let's click on the publish. And if you want to set the condition that would determine where your template will be used throughout the website, you can simply add the conditions from here. But right now, I just simply don't want to add any condition. So now let's click on the save condition. And now let's click on the publish. Now let's just go back to the WordPress dashboard. Now let's just click on the all products here. And from here, let's just view our product page. All right, so everything is looking fine here. So we have the review, we have the related products, and we have our product image and the title. And I think I have to add the space here. So let's just go back here. All right. So let's click here. Click on the select parent block. And I would actually like to select the parent block here as well. All right. So now what we need to do, we have to move this down. Now this will look okay. And now we have the column here. Now let's click on the add. Right now the spacer here. This is looking fine and I just have to decrease the height here. All right. So now let's click on the update. Let's just go back to the product, refresh the page. 
now you will be able to see the space here okay so this is how it works and this is how we can customize the single page product in a woocommerce if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel